So we'll look at just combining those two things, just to recap on, on what we've done. Number one, my partner stayed with a neutral stance. The idea, of course, here is that in an ideal world, my foot is lined up at the middle of his legs. I do a level change, I step in, I make sure I cross the distance with my feet, not my arms. So I'm doing a level change and then stepping in the impact. He provides a little resistance to that, then I lean into him so my knee hits the mat. The last thing I want to do is be stepping in, hitting him, having him disengage, and then going for his legs. So I want to develop that stickability where I drop my level, hit the shot, lean into him, and then I've got that uh, nice close connection to him. So that's the first thing. Most important thing here is when I take that first angle, whatever I'm dropping here, whatever that angle is there, when I step in, the angle is less. Okay? Because if I drop here and I step in and that angle gets greater here, I've actually put the brakes on. And if you took a slow motion movie of that, you'd see me moving back that one. So whatever angle this first angle is here, when I take the penetration step, it's got to be less and then less again. So that's very important. Okay. So now, from here, how do we orchestrate that? Let's start with head control. So we're going to back this up from head control here. I'm going to spin him around and put him in front of that leg and then take that shot. So once again, we've got head control. We spin him, the feet plant, get him moving. We move him right into position and take the shot. Okay. So then we reverse that. We'll back out of that now. So I'm covering with my shell. He's firing shots, I'm covering up, level change in, get a hold of the head, spin him around, in position, and take the shot. So we can look at each of those things separately, covering up, level change, coming up and right up, one hand, then the other, spin him around, put him in front of the leg, and take the shot. 